I mean, for me, the best thing about it was it just, it, it's my childhood, so for me. So I grew up an only child, and G.I. Joe's and Star Wars action figures, they were my family. And I used to make my roadblock action figure dance with my Princess Leia to uh, a dancing queen from ABBA, I know. Yeah, so cool. That was so cool as a kid. Look at everybody laugh now. Yes, yes, it's a true story. Look, when I was a kid, I played with G.I. Joe's, and so they, I, I, so you can imagine what it was like to get the phone call saying, hey, we want you to be a G.I. Joe. We want you to lead the Joes, and now we have this idea to really reignite this franchise, and, and everybody came together, and uh, so, I mean, that's why. So it was, so for me, it's a, not only a massive opportunity, but for a big franchise like this, which I enjoy, to no secret, uh, I enjoy being involved in franchises because it makes a lot of people happy, and there's a lot of people around the world who, who, you know, you can do smaller movies, which are great, and some drama, and some family movies like I like doing, or some comedies, but... You know, the big franchises, that's a lot of smiles around the world, and that's a, that's a cool thing. Closely with, we all did, by the way, with Navy SEALs. This, for me, was uh, the most challenging role physically. Uh, about 12 to 14 weeks of prep, diet, conditioning, prep, training, fight choreography, training with Navy SEALs. It was, it was fantastic. The secret to keeping up with Dwayne? Here's the thing. It's like on Twitter. I get up at 3.30 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. Everyone gets up at three, four o'clock in the morning. That's the secret, yes.